So if you plan to get a PlayStation Portal, maybe you want to find out some info related to this one, what you can do on it and how to operate how to operate it and what settings you have available. Well, let me show you everything from zero. So let's turn off this device and let me show you. So the first um, after you after you set up your device, every time when you want to start it, you have to press here the on off button. Here it is. When you press it, you have the possibility um, to uh, to unlock it or not. It's a good idea because uh, otherwise maybe you press the button accidentally and um, you don't want to enter in your PlayStation uh, main screen. So let's press on button, unlock it by pressing the PlayStation button here. And at this point, um, your device will, will uh, start to connect to your PlayStation 5. When it's connected, you see here X press X to play. At this moment, the connection is stable. And if you press here um, the X button, it will connect to, to your device. At this point, you can uh, do 99% of every action that you can uh, do on your PlayStation 5. And I mean, um, why 99% um, of actions? Because uh, it won't let you to do some settings, um, some uh, test settings related to, to, to screen here in uh, PlayStation 5 settings. Or for example, it won't let you to test the speed of your uh, network because the PlayStation 5 is connected to streaming service and probably it will it will interfere with those values. I don't know, it's strange. Um, you, you will find these limitations anyway. Um, so at this point you have you have your PlayStation 5 here on a on a handheld device and if you have a very good a decent internet uh, connection you won't have lag when you press the buttons you you will get instant uh, response uh, but to make sure that you get uh, this crazy and beautiful experience you have to make some settings to your Wi-Fi router separate the 2.4 gigahertz from the 5 gigahertz connection. Make sure that you have a good DNS provider in your settings. Uh, you can choose, for example, uh, the one from Google or um, um, uh, Cloudflare or something uh, like that. Anyway, make sure that you have a, a very, very good uh, connection in your Wi-Fi router first. If you have um, a, a, not so good values over there it will have a huge impact here also connect a LAN cable to your PlayStation 5 it's a must so here we have I have a video with all these tips uh, related to PlayStation Portal and PlayStation 5 I have a video here on my channel so at this point you can uh, you can control every game and you will have a 1080p um, experience here with PlayStation 5 graphics every game will look incredible and uh, you can download you can um, uh, you can download games you can delete them you can move them from from your uh, storage you can access um, the settings uh, for your um, for your PlayStation 5 <clears throat> look we are here in storage and here I have the storage for my uh, PlayStation 5 at this point I have almost 160 gigabytes available I have an M.2 SSD installed uh, 4 terabyte SSD and I have a free space of 322 gigabytes um, and also an USB extended storage uh, also an SSD um, to uh, two terabyte storage uh, available 1.8 free 55 almost uh, gig, uh, almost 55 gigabytes. So um, if you if you want to go here, you can also manage your your games and you can move them between your um, storage spaces. You can delete them. So. As I said, you can do almost anything from this device. 
anyway it won't matter to make those uh, display settings since um, it's normal not to be able to access them because uh, the PlayStation 5 it's connected via HDMI to your TV and you don't have to access those settings from this device because you don't have control over TV uh, it has uh, logic so um, you can um, you can uh, you can as I said you can move them you can delete them uh, from here as you see the response it's perfect from my device but I have very good settings made for my Wi-Fi router this is very important um, here on this device you can access the shortcuts if you swipe from the right to the left you will have uh, this uh, the, uh, this screen with shortcuts you, you can press disconnect um, you can connect some headphones from uh, Sony you have the brightness, airplane mode and settings. Also, if you swipe from the left like this, you will see very fast um, the trackpad here for for the um, uh, for the for the gamepad. Basically, um, basically this area you have it now here left and uh, left and right to to press it uh, li like this. So. Uh, again swipe and you will see very fast the internet connection the battery the time and you have the settings here if you press on that icon you will go to settings so swipe like this and you can access the settings you have network settings to connect to your Wi-Fi you have um, uh, system information related to software you can check the updates from here you have language you have the da date and time and power saving you can set here um, the amount for the uh, of time for this device to enter a rest mode um, as you see five minutes uh, it's the longest so um, you can navigate uh, either using um, the d-pad or the touch screen you have display and brightness settings here you can select the brightness for your display you have the brightness of light bar these light bar uh, these light bars that you see here they will start in your games you'll see various colors here and you you will enjoy them i really like them i i let them in this way because they look fantastic uh, but you can deactivate them if you want for example if you play uh, during night you can press off and they will uh, they will be they will be off basically also the brightness here for the mute button if it bothers you you have the possibility to turn it off it depends on each um, player now controller settings here you have the haptic feedback for your device uh, the vibration and here a trigger effect you have the adaptive triggers so you can control them and you can uh, you can set them to strong medium weak and off so here at vibration intensity we have again the uh, the haptic feedback available in your device i mean how you feel the device vibrating and so on so choose what what's best for you obviously lower settings will save your battery life here at trigger uh, trigger effect intensity also you have strong medium weak and off again um, these are the the, the adaptive triggers when you press like this on your device choose as you want and as you as you place in your games um, related uh, related to battery life what can I say the battery life it's amazing you will have um, um, keep in mind that I play with 60 70 percent but uh, here for the brightness i use haptic feedback and adaptive triggers and i get probably five hours maybe more um it's hard to to count um if you turn the brightness lower if you set the vibration intensity at lower levels you can reach 
probably seven, eight, nine hours of gameplay. It depends on um, on each player. So um, this is it basically. Um, it's it's the same controller that you know it from from this uh, this one, but it's better with a display and the possibility to control your PlayStation Five. And I love to play on it. For me, it's the best experience. You know, um, not having uh, not having uh, uh, the fan, the cooling sound here, that noise from uh, from the cooling fans. It's very good and um, it's nice to play uh, in this way. Anyway, for me, it, it's a perfect. Uh, it's a perfect. It's the perfect experience um, with uh, with this device. I have this kickstand installed um, for it. You have a video on my channel with it. In this way, I uh, I, I use it. Here we have um, here we have the speakers, volume buttons, on off button, and the pairing mode for for your uh, Sony earbuds or headphones. Here you have um, you have the charging port USB Type C, and you have a, a jack port for your headphones if you want to use cable. This is uh, this is great. So. From my perspective, this is an incredible experience uh, with games. For me, at this point anyway, it's the best.